a very good morning today this morning i am heading for tyongsang the time is 5 a.m and my taxi will be moving by 5 30 or by 6 a.m i'm going to taxi parking this is the early morning 5 10 timing at kifire and to get my taxi i have to go over there Actually, I tried to like inquire and I came to know that there is no NST bus from Tiongsan and Kifiri. I mean from Kifiri to Tiongsan and from Tiongsan to Kifiri there is no NST bus. At present we have to go by Sumo only because the road condition is not good. So I'm that's why I'm taking Sumo. can see this is this is Zinki river and this is high bridge connecting between Samator district and Kifri district if I'm not wrong our taxi is waiting on the road so I came here for washroom inside the taxi is too congested so I couldn't make the videos the view of high bridge down here is Zinki river All right, our vehicle is over here. Our brother driving the taxi, right? Good, good. Up in Ananda? Around Choliba. Choliba. Thank you very much. Now let's start the journey again. Wow, tired some, yeah. Almost three hours journey and still we are on the way Konongpong village and there is a restaurant our vehicle is over here so let's go and have something to freshen up he's enjoying his lunch hello brother look look here oh brother enjoying your lunch <laughs> All right. clean hotel over here from the outside Konongpong village the weather is very cold today. Our brother is also going to enjoy his lunch. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Kick has it. Kari Mungso. Wow, wow, wow. Kick has it. Kick has it. Kick back. Hello. Enjoy. Tai the Kotomi. Tai the Star Crew. I can't. I don't want the Yeti Kawa. Omelette order Krishi, brother. Hotel Nandu ki asle ma'am. Holat sa hotel na. Aro busti Nandu. Konongpong. So this hotel is situated at Konongpong village. Holat sa. Hotel name is hotel Holat Holat sa. Holat sa that meaning do? Holat sa meaning do. Ina wo. Ina aha ja na bagro na. Okay 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 okay. Means like a viewpoint ina wo ho na. Acha tika sa tika sa tika sa. All right all right. This is Hotel Holotze. So, <clears throat> when you are going towards Dongsan, after crossing Samatar, Konongpong village is here and there is a very clean restaurant. So you can stop over here and have your lunch, have your dinner also maybe. So do good towards Dongsan. And this is the view. Wow. It's fully foggy, yeah? It was raining in the morning and Konong Pong village and Hotel Holotse is over here. So 
we had to reach a place called Saddle. This is the junction and over there it goes to Noklag and down it goes to Tiongsan. And I came to know that this place is always windy. Because of the wind, this place is very cold. Anyhow, there are some vegetable vendors over here. Let's see. These are the vegetable, local vegetable vendors. Saddle. And there is our taxi. Saddle village. I don't know which church is that. This is a junction. That road goes to Noklak. <coughs> so windy, yeah? So windy. So finally I reached Tiongsang and my hosts, my friend, they came and they picked me up. After having tea from my friend's house, I went to the room, I freshened up and now we are going to visit some places just to have the view of Tiongsang. For me, Tiongsang looks very large. It's also yeah. like similar with Kohima. So let's have some view for today about Tiongsang. We are going towards Tiongsan town. The town starts starts from here or still uh, from here? From here? Yeah. Okay. So these are Tiongsan is quite large, yeah? And also almost similar with Kohima. Uphill. Exactly the main town starts from here. Okay, the main town main town starts yeah, yeah. from here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Looks like Kohima city itself. Kohima city and Tengsan are almost similar for me right now. I haven't expected that Tengsan will be this much big, but it's quite big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is. This is a uh, town clock. Town clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tungsan town clock. Nice, yeah. It's a nice spot. And this we are going. Loyam ground. Loyam ground. Yeah, pub uh, public ground. Nah? Public ground. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. We have reached one ground, but first of all, let me introduce one brother. He is uh, like touring me the Tungsan area the town and all right yeah so thank you very much for your time yeah. there is one more brother and one more sister but they are not revealing their face we will try to reveal later <laughs> all right so that tower is Tau Glock. Tau Glock. Yeah, Tau Glock. And then the very ground very ground yeah, you call it public ground, public huh? ground. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. and here is a badminton stadium right yeah yeah all yes. right so this is the center of Tinsan. no 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 the town side that low young ground before we do Oh, yeah, downside yeah, there is yeah. one more ground. That is the center. Yeah, this is the center. So this is upper side of Tiongsan. Oh, yeah, upper side of Tiongsan. Okay, okay, okay. Today the weather is getting a little bit like windy as well as it's, I think it's going to be rain. So it's all right. It's too windy. I think you can hear the sound. Anyhow, this this view over there, you just have a look. It looks like Zotsama. When you are on on the side of Kohima, we can see Zotsama, right? If you are from Kohima, you will be understand. So. Actually, they are taking me over there to have a view of Tungsan from there. So we are going over there, and from there we will have a look of Tungsan how it actually looks. So let's go over there. So this is the town clock, and we are going over here. We will go up, right? We will go up. Okay. Oh, okay. NEP. Okay, NEP campsite. Yeah, yeah. Police, Police campsite. Camp, yeah. All right. <laughs> Here. I've already introduced him, but there is one more brother with us. Hello, brother. Hello. What is your name? Yantin. Yantin. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, yeah, for accompanying us. And one more sister is behind, but I will reveal later who she is. This is police point. Tungsan police point. Yeah. And this road goes goes towards Mokuchim. Mokuchim, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So maybe this is the exit gate for Tungsan, right? Yeah, yeah. Formally. But still, Tungsan is stretched beyond this also. It's like Kohima itself. And we are going towards that side. Then, take a picture. You see bump. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So this is the biggest petrol pump. Yeah, Tungsan. Tungsan. <laughs> How many petrol pumps are here in Tungsan? Only one, this one. Only this one? Oh, yeah. Really, there is only one petrol pump? Yeah, only, only this one. Only this one. Kifuri yeah. has two. Only this one. Wow, I'm so shocked to know that, yeah? City is quite large and only one petrol pump. Might be very difficult. Anyhow, we'll, fuel, we'll take the fuel and we'll go up. We reach one peak, which I was showing from Tungsan uh, town side. So, brother, what is this, the name of this place? Yumbang. 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 Yeah, Yumbang. Okay. And this is like a viewpoint? Yeah, yeah, for, viewpoint, yeah. For Tungsan? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we came through the road while going. I will show there are some under construction work going on. Anyhow, there is a uh, watchtower. We will climb up over here and we will have a look of the Tungsan town and everything. I, I, I believe probably the view is clear. So let's hope for the best. And brother is here to just explain me some areas because I'm new over here. So let us hope for the best. This, uh, this is the stairs. Wow, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. If we miss our leg, no? our life will be gone. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey. So, brother is also coming. And here is the view of Tungsan. That is not Tungsan, right? Uh, uh, it's all Tungsan, but it's called NDP. And then the side. NAP area? Yeah, NDP, and then the side is Sakshi. Sakshi. Yeah. NAP means police, right? Yeah, police and NAP. And Sakshi. And Sakshi. And, and this one, NAP police ground. Oh, that, that ground? Yeah. And oh, then right, okay. this one is village, Ngampong village. Lampong? Ngampong. Ngampong. Ngampong, Ngampong. Oh, spelling? N-G-A-P-O-U-N-G. -E okay, okay. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. So, this was like the Zotsum area, which I was trying to tell you from Tungsan area. And actually, the Tungsan is down there. All right, it's a good view, yeah. Just like Kohima, that is Tingsan, and that was the ground from where we had the view about the indoor stadium and the city uh, uh, town clock. Town clock, town yeah. clock. I'm confused with Dimapur city tower. <laughs> no, town it's clock. Called tower clock, no? Tower clock, no? Yeah. Town clock in Dimapur it is called city tower. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Over here it is. Tower clock. Tower clock. Yeah. Tower clock. So that is. Just like the, a tower, no? Uh -huh. So that's a tower clock. All right. And I'm unfortunately due to this zoom cultivation, the weather is too foggy and today it's too cold. And just have a look of the mountains here. Yeah? Nagaland have full of mountains and Tungsan is also surrounded by mountains. You can see behind me, that was the ground. Can you please tell me the name again? Oh, Yumpang. Yumpang, Yumpang, yeah, Yumpang. Yumpang ground. All right. So I just want to share a little bit history about the Tungsan. If you're not clear, then please comment below and let all the viewers understand. But as per some information and as, as per some history, I get to know that instead of Kohima being the capital, Tunsan could be the capital today. The reason is that when Nagaland got the statehood, they were given the choice. Tungsan, okay. Tungsan were given the choice either to be capital or a headquarter. And for fathers, like when they hear head, that means they think that it is the top position. That's why they said we will accept headquarter. We will not take capital. That is why they were given headquarter and the capital of Nagaland shifted to Kohima. Why it happened is that before Nagaland got statehood and before even before India like in the little in the past uh, when there were britishers okay let let go at that let us go at that time at that time nagaland was divided only into three parts that is kohima mokokchun and tungsan that is why even today the uh, vehicle registration number kohima is one mokokchun is two and tungsan is three but today at present day from tungsan there are five more districts like came out like Kifire, Kifire was also part of Tungsan, Mon, uh, Noklak, uh, Longland, and uh, recently new district, uh, Samator. So they are all part of Tungsan during all time. And since it was like during British time, it, uh, the division was over here, 
like administration was over here that's why they were given the option to select capital but they select headquarter so that's a little bit of history i'm not like saying that kohima should not be the capital obviously what is supposed to be happened it had already happened but that is just a history so i try to share with you if you know more clearly please comment below so this is how tyung san looks like actually it's quite long okay just like kohima i am amazed tomorrow maybe probably in upcoming videos you will be able to see me touring around roaming around tyung san town you know I will try to show you the Tingsan town, not today. And this is the opposite view, just like Zotsuma. Kohima will be this side and Zotsuma will be this side, right, in Kohima. The same situation is over here. This side is NAP area, police area. So I will call this side as Zotsuma and this side as Kohima. And the viewpoint which I am staying right now, I will call this as Pulebadze. <laughs> because Kohima also have the same view. From the Pulebadze, you can see Zotsuma as well as Kohima. So from here I can see Tungsan as well as NAP area. So same thing here. Yeah. So obviously they were given the chance to get capital maybe due to some similarities also. <laughs> it's alright. So this place is called Yungbang. From here you can have a view of Tungsan. And I believe many like people also used to come and do picnic from here and enjoy the day. Quite huge, yeah. I'm I really appreciate this place, yeah. Thanks to the administration of Tiong San and to the people of Tiong San for maintaining such a beautiful area. So, this is how Tiong San looks like. I'm very sorry for the wrong season, for the wrong timing visiting Tiong San. I would suggest visit in the month of November, September to November. I think that will be very clear. This is the... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the viewpoint from... From where we are having the view and these are the steps now we will go down over here i have to off my recording and, and go down it's a little bit risky the view is over from here we'll just go down there is also like a cafe type just down here in the hill uh, at the yumbak area we keep our vehicle down there because they charge some registration fee so we just walk uh, came up walking now we'll just go walking and show you how the road also looks like. They are maintaining, they are trying to like promote tourism over here by maintaining this area more better. So I really appreciate that. Let's have a view. Hey brother who is hiding from camera is still here. Don't yeah. hide, yeah? No need to hide. <laughs> Remove your marks and let your friends also know who you are. Hi. Hi. Yes, one more brother is here. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. And then I think I've said in when when I have been to Zapfa and Zuku, right? That this is the smallest bamboo. And it's available over here also. I'm so shocked, yeah. Great, great. This is the smallest bamboo in the world, which is called Zuli in Angami in English. I forgot the name, a little bit difficult to pronounce. But this is the smallest bamboo which is found in the world. And probably maximum are found in Nagaland. All right. And by chance, go. In Chang, it is called. Mu, mu, mu. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mungat. Mungat. Yeah. Mungat. So in Chang, this smallest bamboo is called mungat. Please do remember that also. Mungat. In Angami Zili, in Chang mungat. Good. I have learned a new <laughs> word also. Yeah. Thank you very much. The road. They are developing the area, and this is how the ground actually looks like. The viewpoint was over there. Nice place, yeah. When you come to Tiong San, I will definitely suggest you to come over here. If you miss this area, you will miss a lot of things. 